Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the brand new NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. So I'm going to do a demo and then also share my thoughts on this. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. When I first saw this come out, I wasn't that excited about it. And I think it's partially because naming a mascara worth the hype is just not humble at all and it kind of feels like it's never going to live up to its name so at first i just wasn't really that excited about it and then i decided i wanted to try it anyway because if you're going to be that cocky in your name then like i need to know if you work or not so i picked it up at ulta it was 7.99 there i'll link it down below if you're interested and it was buy one get one 50 percent off so the packaging is cute it's not like the most amazingly cute packaging I've ever seen, but it is definitely cute. And then the wand, the formula right off the bat when I opened it, it didn't feel super wet, which I like. And the wand is nothing special. It looks like, you know, a ton of other mascara wands that I've seen out there. It's just a tapered wand. It has tons of bristles and it didn't have any product kind of gunked up in the bristles, which I thought was very good. So I have the Ulta website pulled up and I just wanted to read the claims before we get into the actual demo. It says, if you want fuller, longer reaching lashes, then the NYX Professional Makeup Worth the Hype Volumizing and Lengthening Mascara is your jam. Effortless to apply and comfortable to wear, this buildable formula actually does what it promises, making it worth the hype in every which way. It also features a brush that tapers at the tip so you can brush, build, lengthen, even the tiniest baby lashes at your inner corners of your eyes. First of all, the packaging kind of reminds me of the Bad Gal Bang mascara, which I actually just did a review of. I'll link it down up here and down below. But the coloring of it is very similar to that. And so in my head, I think I almost expected something like that. But this has a very natural feel on my lashes. So my lashes are not stiff at all. And the Bad Gal Lang the bad girl bang mascara definitely makes your lashes feel a little bit more stiff so my lashes feel really natural and flexible right now and that honestly doesn't really matter that much to me but i know a lot of people who aren't used to wearing mascara don't want to feel heavy or stiff lashes that's something that would bother them so i felt like it was worth mentioning all right let's get into the demo and then we'll be back i'm just gonna go in and curl my lashes and then go in with the nyx worth the hype mascara so I will just curl my lashes first, per usual. And then now I'm gonna go in with the liner, or with the mascara. And if you want to see the step-by-step -step on how I like to apply my mascara, I will link that video down below and also up here in the cards. Um, I have a full step-by-step -step process that I do to make my lashes look the best. It's the way that I've found works the best for me. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at that. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and just curl and then apply my first coat. I asked you guys in my last mascara uh, review which was the benefit bad gal bang if you guys did your mascara with both hands like I keep the wand in my right hand for my right eye and in my left hand for my left eye and so many of you also said that you're lefties and you do that too and it made me so happy I I always thought that I was like the only person who did that and now I know that there's a whole ton of other people that do it too Okay, so I'm gonna let that coat dry and then I'll go in with my second coat. All right, I'm going to go in with my second coat. So this is two coats on this eye and one coat on this eye. As you can see, I definitely got a lot more volume out of it. I think I need to just comb through them a little bit once they dry because they did get a little bit clumpy the longer I was kind of putting that second coat on. So that's the only downside that I've seen so far. But I've used this a couple times and this is the first time it's done that. And I don't know if it's because I was trying to build it up too much or what, but... All right, let's do the second coat on my right eye. 
this is what it looks like with two coats on both eyes i think that overall this mascara gave me a lot of volume and length and it still kept the curl so i'm really impressed by it i personally like that it's a bit of a drier formula it's not super wet even when you first open it and for me i like that like when you go in you don't have so much excess product on your wand it's just it just feels like it has the perfect amount and that you don't have to rub off or like take off a bunch of the product before you apply it so for me personally i like a dryer formula i like that it doesn't make your lashes as clumpy my left eye got a little bit clumpy on my second coat and i think i was just trying to build it up a little bit too much but overall i didn't find out that it was clumpy at all so i really like this i picked mine up at ulta i will link it down below but i paid 7.99 and it was buy one get one 50 percent off so if you wanted to pick up two you would get a discount um, but yeah, I, I recommend this. I think it's great. It's another great drugstore mascara that I think actually is worth the hype. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.